Now to our Food for Families initiative and the push to help end hunger in our community. And tonight, ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler introducing us to a special group of local volunteers working hard at one of those pantries to help others. Eddie is on fresh fruit details. Ajay is helping me. Miss Ronnie is helping me. Michael is taking care of the canned vegetables. We is making boxes for people that who need food. And Nicholas is making sure every one of those boxes has what it needs. My job is for whatever Mr. Sal puts me to work. <laughs> These kids from Dunedin Highland Middle School's ESE program volunteer the Healthy Harbor Community Market. It's one of many Feeding Mind school-based food pantries set up by Feeding Tampa Bay. Jennifer Rossell leads the kids and keeps them focused on the work. One pasta, one can, every single box. Students with intellectual disabilities need the chance to experience giving back a little bit, but there aren't a lot of organizations available for them to do it. Families can sign up with Feeding Tampa Bay and get a box of food to help them at a time when the price of many groceries has skyrocketed, and these kids are all a part of it. I'm packing food for the community. And this gives them the sense of they're doing something. I, you can see it in their faces. They love helping the community. The work here helps these students get ready for vocational training when they move on to high school, and they seem to know the impact they are truly having. Helping people that who need it. In Dunedin, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News. And just a reminder, we're in the middle of our Food for Families campaign. If you'd like to help us with this mission, you can donate right now by scanning this QR code on your screen.